we are your MCs, and my name is Vincent Chow. I am from class, class 1968. And I'm Susan Tong, from class 1979. Big hand for Susan. 60, 69, sorry, 69. On behalf of the organizing committee, we are very honored and very happy to welcome you to our 119 Makehuma Celebration and Reunion Dinner. We will now present to you a welcoming dance by St. Michael's Church. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome St. Michael's Church with their dance entitled Dance of Heaven.
to call upon Mr. Joseph Chin, the chairman of Sundagan Anglican Schools Alumni Association, to deliver his welcome speech. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to this great reunion and 119 Mikamas celebration especially to those who travel all the way overseas locally and also so of course our beloved Michaelians who want to show the love to St. Michael that they have to come back here so your efforts and your support is very much appreciated and we are hopeful that this reunion will add a platform to focus closer relationship among each other. And of course, this is the best time to recall our memory that we were in St. Michael's. As the organizing chairperson and my committees for these auspicious occasions, it took us almost a year to get this finalized and to get you to come here. So it is our responsibility that we will have a good time together to enjoy the fellowship and to have a good memory length of the time we were together in St. Michael's. So St. Michael born in 1888 is 119 years old. It is one of the oldest schools in Sandakan and also in Sabah. It has provided graduates of at least 10,000 after a long period of time and for any profession or any businessman who have successful career, you name it, we have it. Okay, as the rule of ASAA, I think uh, not many people are aware of this. We are the alumni of six schools. They are St. Michael Secondary School, St. Monica Primary and the Kindergarten, and also the St. Gabriel and the Good Shepherd Church Kindergarten. So, we are taking care. We manage with the school board. As the program is long, I don't want to make my speech long. I wish all of you the best. And I would recognize, I'd like to recognize two persons that are indeed have done to the school a lot. It is none other than our school board chairman, Dr. Thomas Lau, and our captain, Albert Chia. And also, we have done so hard to get the school done and not forgetting Mr. Henny Liu. And also, I write to dedicate my thanks of my team of hardworking committees. So, we make you to come here. I hope you all can enjoy tonight's program. Thank you. St. Michael School is celebrating its 119th birthday and this and it is a time a time of celebration we like all of you to join us in singing the birthday song
celebration of everything that's happened over the last 60 years and I'm delighted to all those who have made it possible for Laurel and myself to be here. Thank you very much indeed and also thank you again, I mentioned this earlier today, to those who uh, supported Laurel and myself when the, um, the fires destroyed our home. Uh, the memory that I want to talk to you about tonight, just briefly, because it's getting very late, is uh, these might be my final words to you, but I'll tell you what my first words to you when I arrived in 1956. Apparently, you tell me, I forget it all, but I was, I'm told that my first words on the first school assembly that I made was something along the lines of I came here to die to do something or other and so on and so forth and when all the students got back to their classroom they said this new headmaster he says he's come here to die what's he come here to die for and the teacher said, well, he's an Australian and he can't say today. He always says to die. Anyway, you might laugh, but after a few years with the Irish brothers at St Mary's and the American teachers at Sung Siu, it was said that you could tell which school a student went to from the accent with which he spoke or she spoke English. If you went to the St Mary's, you were speaking with an Irish accent. If you went to Song Su, you had uh, a, an American accent. And if you went to St Michael's, you had an Australian accent. And I must say, I considered that quite a triumph, even though Miss Ann Stalley did her very best to uh, subvert that movement, and I'm quite pleased to say she was not successful. Now, uh, I was tempted to think of uh, just one thing on that, uh, to finish it off. Uh, a few years later, when I was president of the St Akin Rotary Club, I was trying to persuade a local uh, person in the town, who was also a member of the Rotary Club, to take over and be the next president after me. And he was a bit reluctant to do this. And I said, why don't you take the job on? And he said, well, I'm worried, he says, because they, English is not my first language. I said to him, you don't have to worry about that. There are a lot of people in St Dakin who don't think English is my first language either. But anyway, we survived. Laura and I have had a wonderful time since we arrived a few days ago. We're going to have a more wonderful time, or more wonderful times, over the next week or two while we're in Tawau and uh, KK. And we look forward to meeting those of you we haven't met already. God bless you for uh, all that you've achieved, and all that you are, and uh, we are very pleased to come back and see the fruit of our labour as it is today. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you very much, Mr. Brummo. Ladies and gentlemen, can bring it to person. 
what ten ringgit per person and Mr. Woon will sing the streets of London the streets of London by John Denver yeah, this okay. tonight the streets of London by Mr. Woon come on let's clap louder louder Out of market, picking up the papers with his worn out shoes. In his eyes, you see no pride, and held loosely by his side. Yesterday's papers telling yesterday's news. So, how can you tell me? Let me take you by the head and lead you through the streets of London. I show you something to make you change your mind. Have you seen the old girl who walked the streets of London? Dirt in her hair and clothes in rags. She says no time for talking. She keeps right on walking, carrying her home into carrier bags. So how can you tell me you are lonely and safe for you? The sun don't shine. Show you something to make you change your mind. In the all night clubs at a quarter past eleven, the same old man sitting there on his own, looking at the world over the rims of the teacup. Till last an hour, then he wanders home alone. So how can you tell me you are lonely and say for you the sun don't shine? Let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something. To make you change your mind Repeat So let me take you by the head And take you through Elton Hill I'll show you something To make you change your mind <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Woon. Wonderful song. And he has raised 500 ringgit from Joseph Chin, our chairman. Let's 
gospel hands. Say. Hey. 